Wanting to look tall and handsome is the order of the day. When I searched on behalf of one of my juniors, the main results showing on Google made me curious. My curiosity got the best out of me as it was about an increase in height using ashwagandha powder. Many a times it so happens that our knowledge about a particular topic will be way too less. To know more about increase in height, the very first thing we should be bothered about is to understand how we grow. That seems to be the key to concluding whether something can stimulate the height or not. So let's know more about growth, of course, in terms of body. The first thing that comes to our mind when we talk about height is what determines our height. Before delving into this, I would like to come up with a disclaimer. Growing tall or being tall is nowhere connected to the well-being of a person. Therefore, it's certainly an individual choice. Two major factors determine the height of a person, genetics and environmental factors. Of late, breakthroughs have allowed identification of more than 700 different genetic variants that influence the height of a person. Genetics determines 80% of their height. Scientists have come up with this estimation. What scientists have not been able to determine is which genes these variants are in. In addition to that, Environmental factors like childhood malnutrition and illness can limit human growth. The growth of an individual starts right from pregnancy. When the right amounts of nutrition are consumed at the right age, it will not be a cause of concern. Genetic difference might not be the sole reason for height difference across the world. It could also be the differences in living standards. For instance, Compare the American standard of living with someone in uninhabited places in South Africa. It will be enough case study. There could be other factors that could be added to this. Gender differences, year of birth and regional variation. The world average height of men is about 12 cm taller than the world women average. According to science, two genes in men contribute to height one on chromosome 15 and the other on chromosome Y. One of the chromosomes is absent among women. The other one releases an enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen in both sexes, which in turn fuses bones. The time of its release determines the height. According to statistical evidence, humans have grown to different heights in time. For example, in 1896, average men were at a height of about 163 centimeters. Now it has increased to about 171 centimeters. Same with women. Forget about the world. Consider Indians. Punjabis having a hefty body might easily cross the height of 6 feet. However, a person from Manipur might have an average height of about 5 feet 5 inches. Again, regional variation is mostly due to genetic factors. Overall, with all these statistics, we have understood the variations of height. Now let's try to understand what ashwagandha is. What apart from height does it help? Ashwagandha is derived from Sanskrit. Ashwa meaning horse and gandha meaning smell. When combined it means smell of the horse. Firstly, it's an incredibly healthy herb. Secondly, it is classified as an adaptogen, a herb that can help our body manage stress. All in all, it's good for both body and brain. Ashwagandha can be a blessing for the following Help lower blood sugar levels Reduce cortisol Boost brain function Fight anxiety and depression There are a lot of benefits We'll briefly cover them one by one Stimulates the immune system Repels infections Removes insomnia Removes wrinkles and dark spots Improves heart health Regulates blood sugar destroys multiplication of cancer cells, moisturizes rough parts of the skin, controls hair loss. While we learned about the benefits of ashwagandha, there is one important benefit that we deliberately left. It is the protection of bones. Yes, one of the most important benefits of ashwagandha is that it keeps the bones intact. It is time for us to know a little more about how bones grow and how they must be protected. Bones are the parts of our body that are crucial in increasing our height, making us look tall. 
How do we gain height generally? Let's get into biology to know the concept of how bones grow. You might know that the human body is made up of different kinds of chemicals, juices, glands, etc. One such gland is the pituitary gland. This gland secretes a hormone called human growth hormone. You guess it right. These are responsible for growth. So, how do we look tall or short? Bones are responsible for our height. In other words, if leg bones grow, they make us look like we are tall. So the longer the leg bone is, the taller do we look like. Of course, hands and spinal cord will have to grow proportionally, without which we might look disfigured. Coming back to our human growth hormones, these hormones stimulate the liver and triggers a new hormone called insulin-like growth factor I, which is also called as IGFI. The IGFI triggers the products of cartilage, but this cartilage production happens at the two ends of our long bones. For instance, the long bone situated in our legs produces this cartilage. Some with the long bones present in the arms. When the cartilage ossifies, which is a process of making the soft cartilages into hard bones, like baking, they turn into bones. Therefore, they become hard. This is how the bones grow. As long as the AGH is active, it results in IGFI, which in turn triggers cartilage. This cartilage ossifies and becomes elongated bones. When do bones stop growing? After puberty, when our body stops producing human growth hormones, IGFI stops getting produced. When this stops getting produced, there is no production of cartilage either. After that, there is nothing to ossify, hence there is no growth in the bone. How does Ashwagandha help us with height? As opposed to what some people claim, there is no such thing in the world that can yet trigger the process as mentioned earlier. That is to say that human growth hormones cannot be triggered by Ashwagandha as is claimed. As a result, there is no effect on height either. Nothing of that sort is proved. But yes, there could be an environmental factor that can trigger the human growth hormone naturally without the help of any herb or chemical like Ashwagandha. Naturally, these are the below factors that may weaken the bones. Bad lifestyle, bad food habits, lack of exercises, natural aging. These may affect both our height and strength. As we age, our bones become brittle and even a slight impact on the bones might fracture them. They will become very weak. As a result, the overall height may decrease. Our postures might get disfigured. We can prevent all this by using Ashwagandha. It has proven effects on our bone health. Ashwagandha increases bone mineral density. Often, this mineral is depleted in old age because of osteoporosis. On the one hand, it increases the formation of cells that synthesize bones. On the other hand, it reduces the activity of the cells that break down old bone and release the minerals back into the blood. Please find below the importance of strengthening bones. Increases biochemical strength, especially in the femur and the vertebrae. Make the spongy bone tissue denser, making it easier to better handle movement related impacts. When you have strong bones that stand erect, we can also stand straight to our fullest height. To sum up, there is no item on earth found till now that can trigger human growth hormone and increase our height. Ashwagandha can increase bone density, making it strong and erect, but cannot increase height.